Hey, welcome to Bird Squawk and part two of the Cooler Brooder. In our first video, I showed you how to cut this glass and install it. That's probably the toughest part of this whole project and takes the longest. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the light. I'm going to show you how to install the fan, the controller, and ultimately the thermostat. And then we're going to show you working. Stick around. We'll be right back. Now let's get started on part two, what we're going to do here. We have to install a heat source. Our heat source is going to be a light bulb, okay? So we have a light socket that needs to be mounted somewhere in the back of this cooler. So I'm going to drill a hole, mount this in there, and that way we'll have a light that's kind of up out of the way. The birds can't get to it, and it will still give us a heat source inside there just like the version one did. All right, stick around, let's install this. Okay, the light socket we've got installed, okay? Now we're gonna move on to the fan, all right? So the fan has to go on this side. So we're gonna put the fan something like that, right along the top of this ridge, we'll be fine. I'll mark these holes, get them centered, and then we'll drill them all the way through. And then we have covers that go on it. And I think these are going to be long enough. They came with the, the package. We'll put those in. So we'll get that done. Then we'll be able to determine how many air holes we need in here. Okay. We're not going to open this whole thing up. That's too much cool air coming in. So we're going to put a couple of holes in here. And it kind of restricts the airflow a little bit. Just enough to let some fresh air in. We don't want a bunch. We just need a little bit. All right. So let's mark these up and um, let's get those drilled then we'll determine where the holes are and we will drill those as well and let's install this fan. Okay, so we got two smaller holes drill one I did a little bit bigger than the other and again you'll have to just figure that out per what fan you get um, you can always make the holes bigger but you don't want a lot of cool air in there I can tell you that right now so if you look down in here what we're going to do now is we have the two holes and then we have the holes that we bolt up to so we're going to bolt this fan right in here like this i'm going to bolt the power up so the wiring will come out the top of it instead of out the bottom and it keeps the chicks from possibly getting a hold of it so anyway that's what we're going to do next we're going to mount this fan and then hook up the wiring Okay, that went a little better than what I thought it was. Uh, so we got the controller installed on the front. 
Uh, this is the power cord that will power everything. Okay, so that's what would be plugged into the wall. This is the thermostat. We're going to have to route that around the back, and, and uh, it will come into the back. We'll do that last. Um, then the plug-ins I mounted right here on the side. You can see they come around here. Then what we'll do next is we're going to wire up the fan. We're going to wire up the light separately. We're going to route them down through here and dress this up nicely and have those plugged in here. I could have cut this and I could have hardwired everything and done all this, but I don't think everybody else is going to do that, so I'm going to show you what, what most people would do. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start wiring this up and get everything plugged in. All right, hang with us. We'll be right back. All right, I'm going to uh, go ahead and finish splicing up some wires here. And uh, I just wanted to give a quick reminder here. Uh, this is not a, a, a DIY electrical video, okay? Um, electricity is dangerous and it can kill you if, you're, if it's not done right. So if you're not comfortable doing this, uh, find somebody that's qualified uh, to do these kind of things that I'm getting ready to do here. Um, I'm an electrical engineer and so I feel comfortable doing these kind of things. You may not, so don't. All right, uh, uh, zip tie the wires up long. Uh, there's many ways to get around this besides doing it the way I'm doing here. Uh, so I wanted to just let everyone know that, that uh, there are other ways of doing this without having to splice all these wires. And I just wanted to make them shorter so that everything is kind of neat around here. I could have left them long and zip tied them up or something like that. You could have done the same thing. You could have got a socket that already had a plug on it that come through here and just come around and plugged in. All of that stuff is available. This is just what I chose to do uh, with mine. All right, let's get to cutting some wires here. All right, so we've got um, this uh, wired up and uh, plugged in. And so I'm going to finish drilling this hole for the thermostat. And then we'll probably, let me go ahead and get this through here real quick. Then we'll probably need to hot glue this on the inside and this i may need a little i wanted it very tight but i may have gotten a bit small so i need to get a little bit larger bit i'll drill that out we're going to hot glue it on the inside i'm going to have this stick out like that okay and then i'll hot glue it in there and it will stay in place and then we'll uh we'll start hooking things up all right behind the camera this time and my assistant here lovely daughter is hot gluing everything in for us so all right i think that's the last interior piece all right i think we've got everything wrapped up we have programmed the uh, uh controller and it's coming up to temp and is working fine as you can see the light is on all right everything is plugged in and hooked up so if we look inside We've got our light, which is a light bulb as source, our fan, which is not running right now, and of course, our uh, thermostat, and that's what we've got. And so now it's just a matter of time until this comes up to temp, and we have it set at 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you can set it for Celsius or whatever you want. All right, so that's it, folks. Uh, that's our cooler brooder. And again, if you wanted to make things a little easier on you, you probably could find a square, um, a rectangular, better shaped cooler to do this with. This is just what I had. I wanted to make another one like it, but I wanted to have the control on it. Um, you know what, guys? If you like these kind of videos and, and the, 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 the bird videos, and we got some upcoming up videos where we're going to be doing nest boxes and things like that, hit like, hit subscribe. It does help, and we appreciate it. And we thank you all for all the comments you have for us. We love the comments. And so be safe, and we'll see you in the next video.